Hey, I'm going to show you a simple exercise that's going to help you weave in and out of keys while you're playing songs on the piano. Now, the problem with weaving in and out of keys is that oftentimes the brain doesn't know what keys to naturally go to. Even though I've done a video on this, on weaving in and out of keys, and I've done some exercises, they're more for the advanced musician. This will be a simple exercise that will help you to get started on the process of changing and weaving in and out of keys. So you know how the one key of every key is major, right? So the one key of C would be C right or if i was playing an f scale the one chord would be an f major and we also know that the two chords always minor so if i'm in f the two chord would be a g minor right so here's what the exercise would be so you would pick a key you go to one chord you go to the two minor chord then you go up a minor third then you play the one key and you play the two minor of that new key and then you go up a minor third play the one key the two minor, up a minor third again, one key, two minor. And then by the time you go up another minor third, you'll be back at your original. And this will start giving you that muscle memory of how to switch between keys. So let's see how that sounds. So we have the one key of C. Let's start on C. The two of C would be a D minor. If we go up a minor third, we know it's three half steps, one, two, three. So we're gonna to go to the key of E flat next. So we have the one key, which is a major, two key is minor, one key of E flat would be just a E flat major triad. The two of E flat would be F minor. If we go up a minor third on the one key, that would be, that's right, you guessed it, F sharp major. The two key of F sharp would be an A flat minor. So one, two, one, two, one, two, remember? And then now we're in A major. Then we go to the B minor. And now we're back in C. And then you would go up a half step and you do it the same, you do the same system again. You may notice at the bottom of each minor third, every time we change key, it forms a diminished seventh chord. So these are the notes that are related. If I'm in C, I can go to E flat. If I'm in E flat, I can change the key of F sharp or I can go down too. So this is the relationship. But I like doing this exercise because it also shows me the chords that are in between the C and E flat as a kind of connecting chord. Now, if you're past like the beginner level, I would still do this exercise. I would just I would just stack your chords a little bit more based on how you know to play a C major. So for instance, so instead of doing this, you would just build up those chords, how you know to build those. So it would be. So just, just now playing the same chords, but you know, playing your own version of it or drop two even. Right? And in fact, Eddie Brown did that exact exercise. So I think this exercise is really important for us to do. Now let me show you why it works and also use some song examples. And I really want you to kind of start experimenting with songs and weaving in it because remember, playing by ear is, is not so much rules and formulas. You really need to learn to experiment. When you learn something on my channel or somebody else's channel, you have to experiment to make that thing your own. If we're doing as the deer in the key of C, for instance, Okay, so right here, after the... Now, I don't know if you realize what just happened. I changed the key, I went to E flat. And the reason I knew to go to E flat, number one, is because the exercise told me that when I'm in C, I could play the two minor, and then I can go to E flat. So it, it not only gives me the key that's related that I can go to after C, but it also tells me, tells me the connecting key, the, the connecting chord that I can use to connect the key of C and E flat. And interestingly enough, this D, which is the two of C, is also 
related to the seven of E flat. We know the seven of E flat is actually a diminished, but it's that's why I said it's related. So a D minor, D diminished can help us transition from that. So and when I went. have this D minor to transition me right my, my melody is still that nah, so the G that the melody is singing is still in the key is still in the key of both C and E flat so I'm gonna hold this G down and now I'm, I'm, I'm playing so and now I'm, I'm kind of back on that two chord now right which is the connecting chord between C and E flat simple easy stuff that we can use to experiment and try to weave in and out of keys you know what's also interesting I noticed when I looked at the um the bottom notes of each of these chords C D E flat F, F sharp, A flat, A, B, and C. Those form the whole half scale. It's like the diminished scale. That's interesting. Because remember, I don't, I don't, remember, I don't use theory as a basis. I, I, music evolves for me. This is actually my benefit of not having learned theory is because somebody in the comments or someone who's taken this is going to say, hey, Sean, Barry Harris has probably been teaching this <laughs> um, about the diminished scale. But the cool thing about this for me is that um, I, f I found this out this morning, okay? And I'm sharing it with you um, because it is a cool exercise that we can do to transition between two keys. And it works both ways, so I can move both up and down. So let's do... Um, Let's do Somewhere Over the Rainbow song. Somewhere over the rainbow song. So let's go to the part that goes. Da, 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 da. I, I never know the words for that part, so y'all just have to. We just work. We just we just experiment. <laughs> so let me go up to E flat. So I went to E flat because that's one of the connecting keys, and I just figured out a melody in my head that I wanted to do but the other way is I can go right so these are the notes that I can switch but I could also move to the A A is also right next so I'm looking at the neighboring tones here so C can go to E flat C can go to A or if it's E flat E flat E flat can go to F sharp and E flat can go to C right so so I, I've been going up to E flat but I wanted to do an example that would down to so so let's also um, during that transition let's change to the key of a and see if it works naturally to the ear the way that we change to E flat you got to experiment with these things so that's what I want you to take away from this I'm in a it's <laughs> cool And, and it sounds so simple and it sounds so nice. And the third thing I like about what this, about learning the simple exercises, it prepares you for the more advanced topics like the Barry Harris system that I talked to you about, right, in the video over here. Um, and so it will prepare you for that. So definitely learn this exercise. I just use very simple examples today. This is something that I just thought about this morning. So tell me what you think about this exercise. Really easy exercise. But remember, you're only covering four keys.
C's. If you start from C, you got to go up a half step. Then you want to take it from D flat as well. And then you want to go up another half step and take this from D. And I'm going to have this. I'm going to add this video probably as a prep video for my advanced course in my advanced course called the Barry Harris system, because this is going to teach you how to really understand the relationship um, between keys in a way that makes sense to you and in a way that your muscle memory can be activated. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Thanks again for watching. Happy New Year. We'll see you guys later.